Hey guys, what is up? So I'm excited to announce that we finally have the 2022 Subaru Forester on the lot. Today I'm going to go over five of the key features that are different on the 2022 model that were not in previous years. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos related to Subaru. So if you enjoy that type of content, then please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. If you guys learned something new today and get value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you also click the like button. So this one in particular is the Cascade Green Silica. This is a new color for the Subaru Forester. So that's number one on the list. One of the new features or new things about the new 2022 is this new color. I'm trying to show you guys in different angles, different lighting, how this looks. Of course, we got a nice cloudy day. So would love to be able to show you on a sunny day, but we just got to deal with what we've got. So uh, as you can tell, this is a very dark green and it almost looks like black in certain lighting, especially as you get into lighting like this. So it's a dark, dark green. You can see it up close. It is still very dark. It's, it's also really hard to capture this color on camera just to show you guys what it looks like. But, you know, it is a really nice color. This one in particular is the touring trim. So you get the aluminum brush right here, the aluminum brush side skirts and roof rails. On the interior, this one has the black leather interior, but as you may know, with the touring, you do have the option to get the brown leather. And I think the brown with the green combo personally would look really great. The 2022 Subaru Forester also got a wheel redesign for the touring trim level. So this is what the wheels look like for the touring trim level. All of the other trim levels carry over the same design that were offered in 2021. So here's what the base model looks like, the premium, the sport, and the limited. So on the left, I have a 2020 Forester. This is gonna resemble much like the 2021. And then on the right, we have the new 2022. And what you notice is that the front end is actually different on the new model. So here's what the new design looks like, the new grill design. This one in particular, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if the black trim, this polished black trim is going to be a standard on all trim levels or if it's just on the touring. I do know that these chrome bits here are standard on the or exclusive to the touring trim specifically and this aluminum brush finish here as well uh, that is different on the touring compared to other trim levels but here is what the trim levels look like or the the models look like side by side the next new feature is subtle but it does make a big difference when you are hauling stuff or putting stuff on top like kayaks or bikes or whatever you have four tie down points now on the roof rail so one here one there and two on the corresponding sides. If we compare that to the 2020 or 2021 generation, here are what the roof rails look like. So they don't have individual tie down points. Another cool feature that the new 2022 Subaru Forester offers is not on all trim levels, but it will be on the touring trim with the infrared bar up here. This is the driver distraction mitigation also the system that will allow you to use facial recognition to save your memory seats and memory mirrors but now it offers hand gesture motion for adjusting your temperature control so if you open your hand in front of the infrared bar with a flat palm it will increase the temperature by four degrees and if you use a closed fist it will decrease the temperature by four degrees so this is really handy while driving Although you do have the analog controls down here, it's nice to have that added touch just to be able to quickly increase or decrease your temperatures. If you guys have been keeping track, that was the fifth feature. However, I have two more exciting features to share with you guys. And this next one is going to be a really nice one for a lot of people. If we open this tailgate here, we're gonna look inside and show you what has been installed on the headliner. So now there is a cargo hook on the left and the right side for all Forester trim levels in the 2022 model year to hold things like your backpack, your hiking gear, your mountain bike gear, all back here so it's not just getting thrown around in the back cargo area. And if you're curious, this will hold up to six pounds according to what is written on the headliner stamp there. I've talked about the Subaru EyeSight safety technology in many of my videos, and today I'm happy to announce that they have updated the EyeSight cameras to now have a lower profile than previous generations. And you don't have to worry about getting the lenses dirty because when we look on the inside, you can see this lower profile actually is enclosed. 
So you don't have to worry about dust or debris, or if you're cleaning the windshield, you don't have to worry about that getting up on the camera lens and messing up the eyesight system. So they did update this. It does have a much lower profile now, and it's, it's also a little bit more out of the way. Not only did Subaru change the profile of the eyesight cameras, but they also updated the software to have better recognition. So being able to detect objects better. And now the field of view is much wider. They said it's almost as double as before. So being able to see cars in front of you and on, on the lanes in the left and the right, if they are suddenly going to merge in front of you, your car will be able to detect that with the eyesight cameras and slow down accordingly. So that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please be sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel down below, leave comments with any questions you guys have down below. Let me know your thoughts on the new Forester. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are there things that you wish that they would have done differently? Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next one.